Fish Tank Barn, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to another video. If you're looking to amplify your aquarium experience, go ahead and ding that subscribe button and bang the notification bell so you don't miss any updates here on the channel. My family and I just got back from Germany uh, about a week ago. Uh, even though it was more of a family vacation, uh, we did get to stop at a couple of fish stores. So I want to give you guys a tour of one of the fish stores today. Uh, the name of the fish store is Kolitzo. And uh, Kolitzo is uh, very similar to what you would see in the United States as a Petco or a PetSmart. So I want to go ahead and uh, start the tour. Uh, you'll notice quite a few interesting things in this video. And at the end of it, we'll go back and I'll give you some of my thoughts. So let's go ahead and get started. As you enter the store, you're greeted by this massive koi tank. There's plenty of beautiful koi in here. Unfortunately, I'm not very well versed in koi, so I can't tell you the species types, uh, but this is an enormous tank. And for one euro, you can actually buy some food and feed these koi as well. So let's just take a minute here and enjoy these fish. All right, moving on further, we find a fluval flex, uh, which looks like it has some barbs in it, as well as some blue shrimp. I'm not sure if those are blue bolts or what type of shrimp those are. All right, we're now heading next to a Dennerlay cube. Uh, not seeing any fish in here, uh, but definitely another beautifully aquascape tank. And the final tank we come to is a Fluval Flux with some koi guppies. Definitely another beautiful aquascape. All right, we now head downstairs and we come to this tank uh, with some Lelupi and some Bersharii. Uh, definitely a pretty interesting tank. Now we come to the second large koi tank. As you can see, uh, this is not as big as the first, but there's still plenty of beautiful koi in here. Uh, we now had to uh, some smaller ponds. I uh, can't tell exactly what fish are in here, but uh, definitely pretty interesting. Uh, there's some koi food. Uh, there are actually the koi for sale that you can buy from the store. Uh, they've got the various uh, holding tanks for them here. Uh, definitely pretty neat, uh, definitely different than what you would see in the United States for uh, koi tanks. And then uh, you've got some of the pond products here, like the big nets and everything. Uh, turning around there, some of the pond filters, etc. Alright, we're closing out the pond section now with some of the pond fish, other than koi, they have for sale. Uh, looks like some bitterlings and also uh, some rice fish. So let's head on to some of the other products. All right, we're now coming to the next section here. Uh, with some pretty interesting pieces of wood. Uh, I'm not sure if those are reptiles or for fish. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't check out the label, but uh, definitely pretty interesting. Also here are quite a few different plumbing fittings, uh, more than you would find in your normal American fish store. All right, moving on from the plumbing now. Uh, you can see here there's a uh, Red Sea fish tank, a bunch of other fish tanks down that aisle. And then uh, there's a tons of different uh, replacement parts and lighting. Uh, so you can see as we go down this aisle here, uh, there's going to be a ton of different types of lights. Uh, looks like there's some Eheim filters at the bottom, uh, some test kits it looks like, some more lights. Uh, you can see in the corner there, there's uh, some plastic rocks and stuff, uh, some more miscellaneous parts, uh, plastic plants. As we turn here, uh, there's going to be a ton of driftwood, uh, dragonstone, um, and some other driftwood. All right, we now come to some of the coolest products that I found here in the store. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different sizes of filter pad, um, as well as some filter floss. Uh, now we're coming to some of the uh, brine shrimp, uh, as you can see here. And uh, they even sell the brine shrimp hatchery. That's a pretty cool looking brine shrimp hatcher uh, that you won't find in most stores. All right, now we're heading to some of the uh, CO2 products. Uh, you can see here there's a bunch of CO2 kits. Um, unfortunately, they're in German, so I can't tell exactly, but they look like a regulator kit, uh, maybe with like a bottle. Uh, there's a pH controller there. Uh, if we go down here to the bottom, uh, there are some bigger uh, CO2 kits at the bottom. Uh, so let's head on to the next section. All right, we now come to the plant cooler. Uh, you see here you've got Oliver Knot on the front, and then uh, you've got a bunch of plants here uh, in the refrigerator, uh, even some uh, tissue culture plants. Uh, definitely some pretty neat stuff. Uh, we can get some close-ups here. I uh, don't know exactly which types they are, but uh, definitely pretty cool stuff. All right, heading on from uh, those plants, uh, we're going to come around here. Uh, we see another fridge there, and then uh, this tank here has a bunch of plants. 
uh, that you can purchase. Uh, looks like they're labeled, uh, so you can go ahead and pick the plants based on the labels. Uh, there's another plant fridge there. And then coming to uh, this very huge discus tank. Uh, tons of different colors of discus in here. Uh, it's pretty deep. It's probably about four feet deep. Uh, don't remember what the other fish in there are, but uh, definitely a pretty cool tank. Uh, one of my favorite uh, display tanks that they had here in the store. So uh, definitely uh, pretty amazing. And you can look at the top here. They even got the top uh, kind of like a paludarium with discus. Uh, definitely uh, this was probably my favorite tank in the entire store. All right, as we turn away from the discus tank, uh, we're now going to be greeted by uh, the food section. So uh, there's quite a wide variety of food here. Uh, basically a pretty large aisle. Uh, we're going to take a walk down here real quick and see uh, what kind of foods they have. Uh, you can walk down here, uh, you can see uh, a lot of the various types, uh, some Sarah foods, uh, as well as uh, a lot of other different brands. So uh, definitely uh, pretty interesting. All right, continuing on now. Uh, we've got some pretty nice looking uh, fake live rock here. Uh, all right, now we're looking at uh, some of the decorations here. I got a few nice looking ships here. Uh, this last one here is pretty neat for sure. Uh, it was 140 euros, so quite expensive. All right, continuing on with the decorations here, there's a pretty cool looking volcano, a bunch of different statues, cichlid caves, a bunch of different rocks, which I believe were plastic, but definitely pretty neat. Uh, heading over here now is the more natural stuff. I've got some spider wood, uh, dragon stone, and uh, some various other like Malaysian driftwood, uh, things like that. Uh, definitely quite a good selection. I want to end our look at the dry goods section by taking a look at this. Uh, this was actually an aquascaping tank, uh, so you basically could pick out any of the pieces here that were for sale and create your own aquascape and then purchase them at the store. Uh, which I thought was a pretty neat idea. Uh, you can basically set your scape up and purchase the materials right there. So let's head on to the fish. All right, we've started out with some African cichlids. Uh, got a mixed group of peacocks here in this tank. Uh, definitely some pretty nice looking fish. Uh, next we have some uh, Nimbochromus venustus, another uh, pretty rare find to find in what we would call the Petco uh, here in the United States. Uh, heading over to the next tank, there's some Cyprochromus borlei. Uh, definitely looking pretty stunning as well. Uh, there is a holding female in there. And heading onward now, this is a mixed Mbuna tank at the bottom. And then uh, we've got another uh, tank full of peacocks. Uh, some uh, Cyanochromus friari, which are the electric blue Ali. And then uh, finally, uh, some sulfur heads. So now we're heading over to uh, Link Tank and Ekin Tank here. Uh, these are some Neo Lamper Logos Brashardi. Uh, along with there was a gold compressor seps in there and then there were some cyprochromus leptosoma as well uh, so definitely some pretty cool fish uh, you could just almost take this and make your own display tank uh, definitely pretty cool all right now we come to some swedish hongai uh, definitely pretty stunning i do have these at home but uh, definitely some pretty beautiful fish we now come to the shell dweller tank uh, they have some neo lamprologus cato punctatus and it's a Neil Lamprologus Ocelotus Gold. Definitely pretty cool to see in there. All right, we're now taking a look at a pretty unique tank. I've got a bunch of Trophius in here, as well as some Yellow Labs. Uh, definitely a pretty unique setup. Uh, not something that I've seen uh, too often floating around here on YouTube. All right, now we come to a rack of angelfish. Uh, there was a little bit of glare on these tanks, uh, but these are all very healthy and very beautiful angelfish. Uh, so I'm gonna take a break for a moment and let you guys enjoy these. All right, we now cut across the aisle and uh, we have some goldfish here. Uh, definitely some pretty cool colors. I really like this yellow one. I thought that was pretty cool looking. Uh, not seeing too many yellow goldfish. All right. Uh, this is a pretty cool tank here. We have some uh, Pistogramma nigisini, as well as some Cardinal Tetras. I uh, couldn't really get these in focus, but definitely some pretty cool looking fish. Next, we have some more uh, Cardinal Tetras and some Pavlochromus sacramanus. Uh, definitely another pretty interesting tank. All right, uh, heading onward now, uh, we have some Pavlochromus sub ocelatus. 
uh, definitely another pretty cool looking fish. All right, now we come to some uh, electric blue Akara. Uh, definitely looking pretty stunning as well. Uh, all right, moving on to the next tank here. Uh, we have some stir by Corys, as well as uh, something they call the Blue Dempsey. We now come to a tank of Epistogramma cockatoides. Uh, definitely looking pretty stunning and healthy. Heading to the next tank here, uh, we have some Gold Severums. Looking uh, beautiful as well. All right, we now have some Palvolochromus tyliniatus. Definitely looking pretty stunning. All right, we now come to a group of discus tanks. Um, go ahead here and let the camera do the talking for a moment, and I'll catch back up with you at the other side. Alright, as we come to the end of the discus tanks here, uh, we've got some Corydoras adelphi. And then uh, heading over to the next tank here, we have some uh, Corydoras puntatus. Alright, to the next tank here, we have some Corydoras anea. Alright, uh, the next fish I've never seen before, but something called a Gruner neon, which I thought was pretty cool. Alright, uh, we're now to a bunch of tanks uh, that have some uh, more common types of tetras. Uh, as well as some various types of uh, rams or microgeophagus. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and let you guys have a look. Alright, the uh, next tank we come to here uh, has some Dario Kajai, uh, spelled K-A-J-I. Uh, definitely a pretty neat little fish. Now we come to some absolutely gorgeous fish. Uh, these are some neon rice fish. After that we have some Norman's Lampi Achilles. Alright, we are now at some uh, various varietals of shrimp. Uh, so let's go ahead here and uh, enjoy the shrimp for a moment. Alright, we now come to some uh, Cobra Endlers, uh, I thought these were pretty interesting. And then uh, come to a different type of Endler here, not exactly sure what type this is. Alright, taking a break from the uh, live bears for a moment, uh, let's take a look at some pretty stunning bettas. All right, uh, we do have a pretty interesting uh, group of mollies here on uh, the next few tanks. And then uh, heading down here, uh, we do have some uh, nice looking sword tails as well. Alright, now we get to some of the fish I'm most excited to see, the guppies, so let's go ahead and have a look. Alright, uh, following the guppies, we'll stay with the live bears here, and uh, let's take a look at some platies.
right, uh, now we're looking at some of the rainbow fish here. Uh, we've got some Melanotania uh, lesustris. And we're going to now take a look at some of the uh, Bosmanis. I really like the color on these. Uh, these are pretty stunning for what you would call uh, your uh, big box pet store uh, rainbow fish. So uh, let's head over now and take a look at some of the saltwater. All right, now over at the saltwater side, uh, we've got some yellow tangs, uh, some antheus, uh, and a hawkfish in there. Uh, neon dottyback is here. And then uh, we've got uh, some clownfish here, uh, various varieties. And then uh, we're gonna head around the corner here and take a look at some bang guys. And then uh, next to that, uh, we've got a pretty nice looking wrasse. Heading up here, some more clownfish, and then uh, we've got a uh, tank with some leather corals, uh, Royal Grama, and then uh, some other corals here, uh, it's like a uh, Ganaporia, uh, jawfish is there, uh, and then uh, some green star polyps, uh, mushroom, uh, it's like some euphilia maybe in the back, and then uh, we're heading over here to the uh, SPS display, uh, I've got some uh, Promis in there, clownfish, uh, little tang in there, and then uh, finally we get to the uh, softy tank here uh, with a bunch of uh, leather corals. Uh, looks like maybe some more euphilia. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour here of uh, Colitzo. Uh, a couple of things I really wanted to point out in this video. Uh, I was really impressed with the uh, amount of equipment and dry goods. Uh, the selection there was incredible. Uh, more than any really fish store I've seen in the United States. So I was really impressed with that. Um, it was really, you could walk in and you could literally buy anything that you wanted from driftwood, dragonstone, uh, plastic stuff, uh, some pretty nice looking ships, um, some uh, brine shrimp hatcher. Uh, that brine shrimp hatcher was awesome. Uh, the sponges as well. That really, uh, that really impressed me. Uh, also, I was really impressed with the health of the fish and the selection. Um, I really think we could do a better job here in the United States of uh, maybe having some better selection and maybe the pet coast pet smart uh, maybe taking some better care of the fish so i really found it a pretty eye-opening experience to go to this store um, along with those koi ponds and, and the displays were absolutely amazing as well so it's definitely something that we could strive for uh, i've heard other youtubers say that the hobby in europe is um is exponentially higher than the u.s um I wasn't really sure what to think of that until I saw it for myself. I would generally tend to agree with them at this point. Uh, you know, Colitzo, you could call it, is the bottom of the barrel. And it was amazing. You know, I would go there. If that was my fish store here in Michigan, um, that would be pretty much my go-to fish store. So, uh, with that being said, I really do hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, I know it's longer than the normal video, but there was a lot to show you here. Uh, and I do really feel I missed a lot of it. So, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. Uh, if you're not subscribed here, uh, hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell. Uh, if you're still looking to amplify your aquarium experience. Uh, that being said, stay fishy, keep on breeding, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.